Okay guys, this is going to be the center for tonight. Really secluded spot on some crown land here in Canada. And tucked back. A great location in the fall, my time of year. So uh, yeah, really happy with the spot. It looks like it's going to work out great.
Cheers, buddy. Cheers, brother. To a successful walk in the woods. At to a successful means. walk in the woods. <laughs> Absolutely. I was just using my pressurized uh, water dispenser that basically I got at Home Depot just for weeding. Makes a good uh, cooking tool to have around the fire. Absolutely. Mm. Bill's just spraying underneath it. Make sure, even though it's soaking wet, it's been raining this whole trip. Um, just spraying underneath it. We don't have any issues, but we're gonna sit back and have a great dinner. As you just saw, Bill was working his magic. We got some braised cabbage. Mushrooms. Brown butter braised cabbage. Pardon me, brown butter braised cabbage. Mushrooms. Oh, a nice thing. Oh, man, oh, man. Thanks, buddy. Bon appetit. Just cabbage out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. If I would have had that growing up, we just boiled it. It's like, yeah. you know, my mom did what she knew how, but. Sure. Brown butter. Oh, and then. Don't add any liquid, just use the liquid of the cabbage to cook. Put the lid on, that's it. A little bit of salt. Push it off.
another rainy morning. I'll try to get a fire going and make some breakfast. Um, as you can see when I get up, I take my buddy heater from the shelf in my truck and I just put it underneath the tailgate. Just kind of that little heat on my legs, uh, you know, keeps me warm when I'm getting dressed outside here. It's not freezing, but it's not, uh, it's not far off. Well, the forecast is not looking promising. So we were going to have a uh, bacon and eggs breakfast this morning. We still might, but I'm going to make a coffee right now. Bill's uh, still sleeping. And uh, we'll see what happens. The worst case scenario, we've got some bagels and some coffee. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. And for those of you who've got a pickup truck and you know you're not into backpacking and doing uh, maybe extreme trips, um, I hope my pickup truck camping videos have inspired you to get out and realize all the places you can actually get to um, inexpensively. I hope people watch these videos and they realize they don't have to spend tens of thousands of dollars on all the latest gear um, and all this uh, expensive, really cool looking equipment. I'll be the first to say, but um, you really, you know, you don't need more than just sleeping in the back of your truck and uh, a place to crash and uh, you know maybe a good awning system and I sleep like a rock in the, in the back of my truck I have six inch memory foam mattress I sleep great on there and um, when I shut those doors it's, uh, it's just this feeling of not that I ever really worry that when I'm in a tent uh, too much but you don't even really have to have that sense that something's crawling around your tent uh, it's, it's a very comfortable feeling so um, I really like it and I hope uh, you've gotten something out of this again this was very inexpensive uh, to make. If you're interested, I have a video. I may have put a link here that uh, you can see how I made it. It's very simple to do, and anybody can do it because I'm uh, not that great of a craftsman. So. Pass up, Bill and I had to take a, a walk through the woods here on this crown land with the odd chance that we'd run across a nice grouse for dinner and we'll make our way back to camp. Hope you enjoyed the uh, trip with us for this uh, little nature walk that we did.
me one of these. Need another. Oh, there's a bowl. Oh, perfect. Bowl would be great. And I can just sit here. Oh, sweet. You want me to get rid of that uh, big lid with oil in it, or? Is that uh, it's hot. There's no coals under it. It's just cooling down now. Oh, okay. I'm saying if you need more room to work with, I can just. No, no, I'm off. good. You I'm good? good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, those uh, I think can come off, and you can uh, start to throw some cream cheese on those right. bad boys. I can do that. Perfect. Yeah, I'm good. Bacon's. Just sitting warm. Grab a fistful of that. I think you should be good there. We're good. That's a little bit alright. That's a little bit alright. Okay, move your forks and knives for a moment. Right in the bacon. Okay. Awesome, buddy. Oh, I don't know if for campfire bacon. It's just good. It's all con controlling the heat, eh? Too much, not mm -hmm. enough. It's all the time. Yep. You're doing good, though, buddy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bill and I had a wonderful time making it for you. Um, you know, Bill's my best friend. We uh, don't get to go out as often as we would like. We got busy lives and families and all that great stuff. Wait a minute, mine's not that busy. <laughs> my phone, my phone has, doesn't ring that often. I, I find out about your trips watching it on the video as a subscriber. <laughs> well, do you get notified by the bell? I do. I do. <laughs> See, that's a first okay. start. Yeah. Okay. So yes, once uh, Eddie's done, uh, we'll uh, Bill will get out more in a lot more videos. <laughs> uh, so uh, we just had our breakfast. We're gonna wrap things up and uh, oh. let the my DIY fire pit here cool down. And um, I, as you've probably seen through that video, we got that little pressurized uh, water container that I used to put out the fires and make sure everything's out before we go. Obviously, you got to cool it off before I put it back in the truck. We'll pack up and we'll be out of here. And um, this is a beautiful spot. Yeah, and this again, Crown Land Camping in Canada. You know, you just gotta find a, a little spot and you got the place to yourselves. We are literally um, on the edge of hundreds and hundreds of uh, Crown Land that uh, obviously we just enjoyed. And while we were here, a little bit of hiking, a little bit of hunting and some fishing and it's been great. No. You know, and again, the, the reason why uh, this video kind of was inspired to, to find uh, my buddy Paul's uh, 100 acres of property up here. And it's that would, a little, be, that would be a good name for this. 100 acres in the woods. 100 acres in the woods. Have you seen the 100 acres in the woods? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> we haven't. I've we seen haven't. It, I've seen it from the drone. <laughs> it's, um, it, it was um, basically what I, I was hoping to uh, find a spot for uh, to park Eddie on my buddy's property. Um, you can only tell so much from Google, so sometimes you gotta get boots on the ground to see exactly what you're dealing with. So we came out here in search of it. Um, know where it is, basically hike to it, but um, it's not gonna be something where I'm going to be able to, to bring my trailer and kind of uh, no. have a camp there. So the search continues for that, but again, that's all part of the fun of it. Um, but no, this was, uh, there's no bad trips. These are always great oh, trips. We had rain, we absolutely. had, uh, you know, no great results fishing or hunting, but <laughs> rain, we had wind, we had snow, fun. we even had a little bit yeah, of snow. Yeah, we even had, it actually snowed. So uh, you're going to see some, I think some sunny skies, but it rained most of this trip. Yeah. But. Yeah, don't let the uh, volume of sunny skies in the video <laughs> exactly. lull you into a sense of that what it was. Yeah. That was the only time you can get up drones or do any good footage. Because exactly. yeah. the other times it was snowing, sleeting, raining, yeah. and uh, there was hours of that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so we're going to wrap this video up. Hope you enjoyed it. If you are not a subscriber, please uh, hit that subscribe button and subscribe for more videos. And if you liked it, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. And Bill, another one in the books. Cheers. Thanks for watching.